Alright, hey everyone. Um, it's your girl Genofra. I'm gonna ask you. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Junior Day, whatever. Um, but I just wanted to come and talk to you guys about sorry, a half wig that I made this summer and I will probably be making another one because I would like a curly one. So I will probably come at you with another tutorial sometime. It probably won't be until the summertime or maybe until maybe spring break or something like that because I really need like a lot of time to do this. It took me a while. It, I think it took me five hours in total. I didn't work on it like all at one time, like five hours going at it. But um, it, it took a while because um, I used a sewing machine to make my cap and then you having to, put, to sew on the hair onto the cap. And then I broke my needle halfway through, so I had to get another one, you know. So, it was just a lot of trial and error, trial and error. But anyway, so, I'm going to just show her to you. Here she is. So, and here's the inside. So, I mean, she pretty much looks just like one that you get from the store, like, you know. And it really wasn't very expensive to make her. Um, sorry. So I went to my local, like, material store. So it was like material, thread, bobbins, whatever. Ah. So I went there and I got some black elastic. And that's what the outside, the band is made out of. And, um, on the inside, I have these straps like this. Now, this one wasn't done as well as hopefully the next one that I'll do. There's a strap there, a strap there. So, you guys can see that. It's just so, here's the inside. So, we have the straps on each side because this these straps are supposed to be closer because it looks like there should be a strap down the middle now because they kind of moved to the side when I put it on my mannequin head to, to start sewing the hair on and stuff. Um, but so, yeah. So all I did was I took the black elastic. I'll demonstrate with my okay. Took the black elastic, put it around my head like this. But then I, you know, brought it, pulled it tight you know, so that it would do its thing with the elastic. And then, you know, did that brought it together and sewed it right there so then I had a loop then added uh, um, then I bought some black lace some nice sturdy black lace um, I think it was just a couple bucks I, I got two yards just to be sure I did not use all of it I didn't even use close to all of it but I doubled it so that's why I got two yards instead of just doing like one layer. I did two just so it would be really nice and firm. Um, did that. Cut it into kind of a moon shape and sewed that around here. Added the straps on the inside. So that's here and here to the lace and to the outer band. There was, um, yeah. Then I went through and sewed the hair on. So let's see if I can find the very bottom one here. Oh yeah, y'all. Um, gospel choir here at my church or at my school. I mean, gospel choir here. We sang today for chapel. It was so much fun. So y'all can kind of see my shirt. It says I have a dream. It's gonna be backwards in the camera, but it says I have a dream. And on the back, I'll show you guys. It says, We hold mysteries to be self evident that all men are created equal. So, I hope you guys can see that. I made that for my junior, maybe my senior year of high school. I made three of them one for me and two of my friends to wear them around for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So, um, yeah. But anyway, so here is. Okay, here's the very, very bottom one. So you guys can kind of see this. I hope it doesn't work, but I'm wearing black also. 
So here's what I did. I measured, this was on a mannequin head, so it was stretched out. So I measured a piece of hair, okay? Ouch, kind of feels not rough, but it's okay. Um, and then just attached here, went through a couple of times, attached it to each of the parts. One second. Hey, sweetie. Attached it here and to the other side. And that's all I did throughout the whole thing. Yeah. So, just going to make it. Oops. And then I just added a big cone to the top. There's a cone at the bottom, but it ended up the red shirt come out. So I just took it out. So all I do at the bottom is I just body pin here and here and put it in. So yeah, and I'll probably do some tutorials with some hairstyles that I'll do with this. I'm kind of tempted to put the flexi rods in there just to see. Just to make it better. So I didn't put any layers in there. She just naturally has them. Didn't even make sure we had them. So yeah, bye bye.